If a disease affects the cornea, the cornea is that front part of the eye, then the cornea become either distorted in terms of shape or the cornea could be opacified, that is scarred and not clear anymore. Sometimes conservative treatment is not enough and the patient might need a surgical intervention. That was we called cornea transplantation. Now, luckily the advanced technology and advanced knowledge about the cornea meant that now we can do a partial thickness cornea transplantation. So we no longer do a full thickness cornea transplant unless that's absolutely necessary. The trend now to do a partial thickness cornea transplant. And it depends which part of the cornea is diseased. So if we're talking about that front part of the cornea is affected, and I'll just show you that. So, if the front part of the cornea is the one that's affected, we can do what you call it anterior lamellar keratoplasty, that is partial thickness cornea transplantation, just to remove the top layers of the cornea and reserving the, the back of the cornea. And why we do that? Because one is, is, a, is a more uh, disease specific treatment, and two, the rejection rate is extremely low, and the survival is, is very good. And especially if you think that those patients are young patients, active patients, so you, you don't want to do a full thickness graft and put them at risk of having graft rejection for, long, uh, for their own long life. Now, if this is affecting the back of the cornea or the lining of the cornea, some example is uh, Fuchs corneal dystrophy, then the advanced treatment means that we can remove the lining of the cornea, it's like a cling film that you wipe it off, and then you implant a new layer of cells on the back of the cornea. You can call this as cell therapy more than actually tissue transplantation. And it's very effective with a very fast recovery. Uh, we call it DCMA membrane endothelial keratoplasty or the DMEK, D-M-E-K, which is the latest generation of cornea transplantation to treat some, something, uh, uh, treat diseases affecting the lining of the cornea. So in summary, the treatment of, uh, in summary, there are various types of cornea transplantation or we call it keratoplasty, either full thickness in extreme condition or front part of the cornea, something like a scar in the cornea from the front of the eye from an injury or trauma or ulcer or keratoconus affecting the front part of the cornea or could be disease on the lining of the cornea then you do an endothelial keratoplasty or that is a DMEC surgery. Advanced technology means that now we can use lasers to cut the cornea rather than using blades. That results in faster recovery and better visual outcomes of the surgery.